Hello, good evening everybody. This is FMG Hacks and we are going to talk about the OBG, obstetrics and gynecology people. And uh, speaking about the obstetrics and the gynecology, the very high yield area or antenatal care and your uh, cancer gyne, where which occupies almost like, you know, like 30% of your FMG questions, while the remaining 70% come from the miscellaneous topic. So speaking about that, we will discuss the section by section, what are the areas to cover and what are the areas uh, that you need uh, more focus on like uh, we divided the OBG into seven sections like obstetrics, gynecology, reproductive endocrinology and infertility and uh, speaking about that uh, we are going to talk about the obstetrics first speaking of the obstetrics antenatal care and routine obstetrical examination are the very important one you have to remember and then the normal daily and normal labor and delivery process they call the four stages of your labor stage one stage two stage three and stage four what are the duration what are the factors influences what is active phase arrest what is the prolonged uh, stage one labor prolonged stage two labor and what are the cardinal movements of labor all this typical normal pattern of this labor and the delivery process and apart from that obstetrical emergency and management for example like a ppi uh, eclampsia shoulder dystocia where you need to do the c-section immediately these type of so these type of obstetrical emergencies and then high risk pregnancy and complications and indications of c-section and medical disorders during the pregnancy so speaking about the obstetrics the main area of focus should be of your uh, you know antenatal care and normal obstetrical examination so fmg perspective what are the important areas that you have to focus on the obstetrics the important areas on the obstetrics could be more or less like you know diagnosis and physiological changes in pregnancy diagnosis and physiological changes in pregnancy physiological changes in pregnancy and then you have a diseases in pregnancy the, which includes the diabetes hypertension and heart diseases in pregnancy and then you have this uh, you know like uh, uh, normal and abnormal labor normal and abnormal labor including the third stage like a PPH and the APH abnormal labor includes your PPH and uh, your APH normal and abnormal labor includes PPH and APH and the other areas of your you know pregnancy we are going to focus but these three areas are uh, you should master immediately people you should not leave a single column in this area because this is the topic of interest where you may expect it to see a lot of questions okay then speaking about the gynecology the main one is your gynecological cancer which is your highly high yield one so cancer gyne and you know like uh, uterine fibroids and endometriosis and you have this uh, you know like gynecological infections and the stds and gynecological emergencies like uh, uh, ovarian torsion and rupture ectopic pregnancy are the areas where you have to set your focus on but you know the very very important areas in gynecology from fmg point of view is ca gyne ca gyne with the uterine fibroids and endometriosis fibroids and endometriosis metriosis and gynecological infections gyne infections and then you have this uh, you know menstruation and the infertility menstruation and the infertility are the areas you have to focus in the case of your gynecologist infertility includes you know like uh, includes the contraception includes the contraception or the areas you have to focus on the case of a gynecology if you are not reading a contraception here then you must focus on your contraception back in the PSM so any of those two subjects you should have mastered the contraception because contraception is also one of the topic of interest where you may expect to see a lot and lot of uh, you know questions from the FMGs in the previous examinations and now yeah, there is a higher chance that you may expect a one or two questions from the contraception too okay so uh, so cancer gyne with the fibroids and endometrium and a gynec infections and then you know like a, a menstruation and infertility infertility includes your contraception methods too 
So this is the areas where you have to master in gynecology. The remaining areas are kind of like, you know, like you have to, it's kind of like a low yield areas. So we split that uh, next portion of your reproductive endocrinology and infertility. We expand that infertility. We used to remember the PCOD, amenorrhea, menopa menopause, and disorders of your sexual development or the high yield area where you should not miss in the reproductive endocrinology and infertility. And then you have this family planning and contraception, all the methods, emergency and the counseling for contraception and the informed device and management of unhindered pregnancy and MTPs. Everything is important, people. Everything related to the contraception is important because you may expect to see a one question in that. You may expect to see a one question in that. Then you have a gynecological oncology. Speaking about the gynecological oncology, all the cancers, gyne, includes ovarian, endometrial, and then you have the cervical cancer. All of them is, you know, like very, very uh, important in terms of your gy cancer gyne. So screening, staging, and FIGO staging of your gynecological cancer management of each stage are pretty, pretty important. So this is kind of like a five-star rated topic where you should remember every single point you should remember every single point okay all the points staging symptoms and what type of staging and management of each staging what is the named criteria what is the named staging every single point people is really really important in terms of your gynecological oncology or cancer gyne and then we have this uh, perinatal medicine, which is of here you see the fetal growth and development and fetal well-being assessment and then antenatal testing and multiple pregnancies and their management and neonatal resuscitation and care. So perinatal medicine speaking about it, you should know about the, you know, antenatal assessment. Antenatal assessment and in the antenatal assessment, the very, very important criteria you should not uh, leave is your, uh, you know, trisomies. You should not leave is your trisomies or any chromosomal abnormalities. I rather specifically says that any chromosomal abnormalities, abnormalities that you should not miss. Every little thing should be remember, you know, like remember. And uh, apart from that, you have this uh, operative obstetrics and gynecology where you see the indications and technique of OBG and then management of obstetric and gynecological emergencies and then post-operative care and minimally invasive gynecological survey. Surgeries like laparoscopy and hysteroscopy are pretty important. Indications are important. So as we conclude here, the gynecology and the, you know, obstetrics, the important areas to be noted on the overall section is your, you know, like uh, the physiological changes in pregnancy, Physiological changes and diagnostic uh, diagnosis of pregnancy, diagnosis of pregnancy, and then you have to remember about the diseases in pregnancy, including your gestational diabetes mellitus and uh, you know like uh, uh, eclampsia, preeclampsia, and heart disease in pregnancy and all those stuffs. And then you have this, uh, what do we call it? We have this uh, small one, uh, physiological changes, diagnosis, diseases in pregnancy. And then you have this, uh, you know, like antenatal assessment, antenatal assessment, normal and abnormal labor, normal and abnormal labor. Or pretty high yield area or pretty high yield area in terms of hops and in terms of gyne cancer gyne with fibroids and endometriosis including the fibroids and endometriosis endometriosis and apart from that, you may have a gynae infections, including the pelvic inflammatory disease, infections, menstruation and infertility, menstruation and infertility, which includes your amenorrhea and your contraception method, it includes amenorrhea and the contraception method. 
contraception method all of them people all of them are pretty important that you should not miss and then you have a this is all about the areas you need to focus on the gynecology thank you for watching we will see you in the next session